Good evening. The final countdown is on. We are now exactly 10 hours away from the polls opening up here in southern Idaho. And no matter where you live on your ballot, you will see two propositions. Prop one is to legalize instant horse racing machines. Prop two is an initiative to expand Medicaid. If either of the props pass, many of you are asking what happens next. Our Morgan Boydston is in the Verify Center with the answers tonight. Morgan. Mark and Kim, I want to give you a little more background on the propositions people will see on their ballot tomorrow. If you haven't voted already, that is. If Proposition 1 passes and becomes law, it would legalize video terminals for paramutual betting on historical horse races. That is more straightforward than Prop 2. Now, Proposition 2 would make more Idahoans eligible for Medicaid coverage under the Affordable Care Act. So here's what happens after the voters decide tomorrow. Propositions in Idaho are rare. It does take a lot to get it on the, on the ballot. The last time we saw them on our ballots was in 2012. Props carry the same weight as other legislation. Because Idaho has an equal footing doctrine. If the people bring legislation, it's the same effect as if the legislature brings it. The interesting thing with propositions is the governor doesn't have the ability to veto them like they do other legislation. So what happens if they pass? He has absolutely no choice. Governor Otter has to sign them into law, and he's already come out in support of both. Unofficial results will start pouring in Tuesday night, but they won't be official until the State Board of Canvassers meets within 15 days after the election. And once that vote is certified, let's say that the, that the uh, uh, that, that the measure passes upon the Secretary of State certifying that the vote is true and accurate, then at that point the governor signs and issues a proclamation saying that this is passed and it is now uh, the law of the state of Idaho. And that law would take effect right then and there. Do Prop 1 and 2 differ in how they'd be implemented? Definitely. If Idahoans pass Medicaid expansion, the governor's office and legislature have to decide how to fund the state's share. If the legislature doesn't make any changes to the legislation, the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare would submit a state plan amendment to the federal government no later than 90 days after approval. Because it becomes the law at that point, uh, they would be moving quickly uh, uh, to do that. After receiving the appropriation, health and welfare would start working to implement the plan. So what other role does the legislature play? Well, if those props become law, they're free to take either one up in the next legislative session. They could revise it, they could amend it. If they so choose, they could, they could repeal it. Uh, there's nothing to stop the governor from trying to uh, veto uh, that action. That being said, Mark and Kim, I'm told those last two scenarios he just said aren't likely. Because Paulette is a big proponent of Prop 2 and Brad Little has said, he will go with whatever the vote of the people is. But the legislature can repeal the issue, and that has happened in the past with term limits in Idaho.